Hello everyone and now welcome to game number three in this series between Joker 39 and Orc Worker. Games number one and two absolute nail biters um, being fought until the last possible moments as Joker clawed his way back into game number two to force a game number three. Will Worker be able to bounce back now and finish off this series or will Joker come back from a 1-0 deficit to take this series and move on in the semi-finals? Gonna go ahead and slow things down. We are gonna be hitting the two minute mark right Players now for those of you guys who like to know and what the game time is as the archers are now going to be making its way over. All right, lightning shield onto the archer right there. Damage being dealt. And, well, the Cobalt Geomancer and that Renegade Wizard both taking significant damage. That Lightning Shield is as, is the same as Immolation at lower levels. So, uh, at, at the lower level. So, that is incredibly effective as the Demon Hunter does get a quick, quick bit of damage boost there. Currently at plus 9, finishing off the Cobalt Tunnelers and that last Cobalt. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the Blade Master. Blade Master going to head off to the north, go after the Ogre Magi here, and the Ogre Magi um, gonna well gonna fight back. The Forest Troll Trappers will be dealing damage. Ogre Warriors will not be able to get within melee range right there, as the Blade Master is going to be picking up one of the best items on Echo Isle. That's one of the reasons why this particular strategy is so strong. Potion of Invulnerability is exactly the item that the Blade Master wanted, either the Potion of Invulnerability or the Potion of Greater Healing. Now, that Blade Master would like to save that Potion of Invulnerability for as long as possible um, to get it into a very, very critical fight where that Blade Master has incredibly high damage. Blade Master is nearby. Demon Hunter does not have Dust of Appearance as the Demon Hunter is going to try and finish off the Ogre Magi, but it looks as though, yes, the Demon Hunter does get the experience right there as now the Blade Master is trying to run back away. There is another Mana Burn Force. Well, that Force Troll Shadow Priest should not have stopped at all stopping was stopping to heal himself was well not very useful when you are being chased by a blade master him and his i gotta believe that is like a four foot long long sword a samurai just running around being able to deal that much damage how he doesn't cut himself while running with a sword that big i do not know Demon Hunter perhaps could have gotten off a Mana Burn at the very least, forcing him to use a second healing salve there, as the Forest Troll Trapper will be the last unit to fall. Joker has picked up a Forest Troll Berserker, does have an Archer, and he may try and pick up another fo uh, Troll Shadow Priest in a little bit, as we are getting the Ancient of Wonders and this Moonwell. I'm waiting for some moment when Joker is actually going to be putting pressure on inside the orc base, but it doesn't seem to be happening here in game number three. I guess he does not want that strategy to become too stale or too predictable, as I am sure Orc Worker now has a very, very good idea on how to combat that particular strategy. Ring of Protection plus two has been dropped. As the Blade Master back across over here attempting to take down the Ancient of Wonders, it may go down. Um, yes, it will go down, in fact, down to 26 some odd hit points. It is now, um, well, trying to hide away as the Blade Master not going to be able to get within melee range. Very good construction as the Wisp are able to travel between these buildings and the Blade Master is not. Because of that, the Blade Master does not have as nearly as strong harassing ability. Bestiary and Spirit Lodge is nearly done. We are looking at, an, well... Torrent Chieftain being added, sitting at 28 over 40, as it looks like Worker, for the first time in this series, will be able to enjoy his Tier 2 presence without any sort of harassment from the Demon Hunter. Now, are we going to be looking at a Keeper of the Grove? Yes, we are. Keeper of the Grove being used as the, well, secret hero tech. Once again, there's a mana burn. Blade Master is currently revealed. However, the aggro was already switched to the other units. Now, as the, well, the Demon Hunter does need to back away. Blade Master does arrive to the party as well, and both sides coming across. This could potentially be a problem. Blade Master down to 15 hit points. Grunt, mana burn. Torrent Chieftain now down to 126 mana again as the speed scroll is being used. It looks as though that Demon Hunter, however, one very, very fast cookie. 
trying to get perhaps another mana burn off once again. Is it going to be enough as you can see that uh, some damage was dealt? All right, Blade Master now looking to come back around. Archers, Forest Troll, Berserkers are all ready to go. Disrupting some healing. There you have it. All of those healing salves were used up in pretty much a moment as the Keeper of the Grove going to be arriving to the party. Demon Hunter now needs to back away. No Staff of Preservation. What is that Demon Hunter thinking? It's thinking that he can maybe perhaps get away. The Blade Master gets choked up on a pig as the Demon Hunter able to keep pace and now outrun. All right, Archer may get taken down here as we look at one Raider now getting taken out. Keeper of the Grove is going to be in a bit of a run. Spirit Walker arrives to the party but did not get the memo to get in harm's way. Not quite sure how an ethereal Spirit Walker can block someone. As you now see an Entangle quickly, quickly go down once more on that Blade Master. Peons. Um, trying to get in, in the way. Blade Master, however, giving up the chase after the Demon Hunter gets that Staff of Preservation off. Joker now going to be mass training up these Druids of the Talon inside his, um, well, inside the comforts of his base right now. As the Tree of Eternity is nearly well, done with um, upgrading. Back. back down across here, Blade Master, Torrent Chieftain, sitting at level 2, level 1. Torrent Chieftain finally on the board with some experience. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove has maximum mana and could maybe get off another decent Entangle. Alright, Entangle off onto another Raider. That is going to be a problem once more as the Demon Hunter going to work on this one particular Raider. Keeper of the Grove is going to be running around again. That is a very, very long stun. Down goes that unit as the Demon Hunter now looks to get away. Are we going to perhaps see an Entangle or perhaps damage there as the the Torrent Chieftain now down to 181 hit points. Demon Hunter down to 124. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability used on both sides. Demon Hunter now may end up falling. Is he going to get taken down? This is a big, big question. Blade Master, Scroll of Town Portal. One more shot should do it. And it does get taken down right as the Scroll of Town Portal teleports the Keeper of the Grove away. Big, big, big play there as Worker. Just absolutely dumbfounded. Perhaps not realizing the Keeper of the Grove was in such, such close proximity to finish off that Blade Master. Keeper of the Grove, however, still sitting at level 1, wants to get to level 2. Murloc's going to start the charge here as the Keeper of the Grove sitting at 212 mana and climbing. Alright, level 2, that Ancient of War. Um, is absorbing all of that damage and this is important because normally these murloc night crawlers would in uh, attack different units if they was did start attacking the druids of the talent however the poison damage never is applied to the ancient of war thereby making it so that the murlocs are not trying to attack different units back down here demon hunter picks up a scroll of healing has an orb of venom claws of attack he's currently sitting at plus 16 damage a crazy, crazy amount of damage, um, boosting up his minimum damage from 27 to 43. That is absolutely ridiculous with a high end of 65. And that is before you even consider the damage over time from the poison of that Orb of Venom. Blade Master still sitting at 2, Torrent Chieftain now sitting at 3. It looks as though the Keeper of the Grove is looking to gain a little bit more experience and also fill up these Moon Wells. Um, I like the fact that Joker is maintaining these Moonwells as a third resource and using those Moonstones to make sure that these Moonwells are never completely dry. Demon Hunter uh, may try and engage off over here. Let's see, 640 hit points. Archer may be in a little bit of trouble. We are going to be going into a bit of an engagement. Ogre Warrior quickly fe felled. Demon Hunter is going to fall as well. Keeper of the Grove could get to level 3 here. Um, if the Demon Hunter backed off, I would say definitely. But no, the Keeper of the Grove is going to be perhaps just shy of level 3 after this creep camp. Yep. Just shy of level 3. 5 experience shy right there. Torrent Chieftain sitting at 3. Blade Master is going to be sitting at 2 still. And that could potentially be a problem as we now see the Goblin Tinker rounding out the triple hero threat. Alright. Keeper of the Grove is still ready to go. There's a Dust of Appearance. Are we going to see Fairy Fire being used? There's a Mana Burn and Fairy Fire that Blade Master is currently revealed. 
and short of him uh, realizing that perhaps an item was purchased uh, that an item was purchased from that shop i'm not quite sure how he knew to use that dust of appearance right at that particular situation keeper of the grove back off to the north meanwhile why is there pinging down to the south here um is there a druid? Oh, druid of a talon is hiding himself in the, in the back in the weeds right there. He's able to attack, and that is how the keeper of the grove is able to get a bit of experience. I did not know there was enough room to actually do that, as the demon hunter may actually get to level four as well. This is the, the most difficult creep camp to try and take out. The gargantuan sea turtle will get taken down now, and that druid of the talon has got to be an absolute hero at this point as Joker playing tricks on Worker, not realizing how the experience or how there is just so much experience on his units. All right, we're going to be going into an engagement right here. Druids of the Talon purposely hiding behind the Pocket Factory. Very, very useful since you cannot win walk past the Pocket Factory. It is a structure. Druids of the Talon now in the backfield here. Doran Chieftain um, getting mana burned down once again as we now see a scroll of healing coming across. All right, big damage coming back down across here. Goblin Tinker, um, or Demon Hunter now sitting at level four. Goblin Tinker does not have, no, does have enough mana waiting for the cooldown on that Pocket Factory. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove is still fighting around and only has level one Thorn's Aura. All right, big, big fighting once again. Torrent Chieftain may get taken down. There it goes. Torrent Chieftain felled at level three as the Blade Master gets to level three. Cyclone now bringing up that Blade Master again. Raider gonna get taken out here once more as the Demon Hunter sitting at level four gets off another beautiful mana burn. Demon Hunters. Demon Hunter could perhaps start trying to mana burn off these Spirit Walkers. That would be significant damage as the Keeper of the Grove is purposely pathing in front of that Blade Master. Blade Master now is in serious trouble. Potion of Mana. Is it going to be used and mana burned? Yes, mana burned in time before he could use the Wind Walk. Big, big, big loss there as the Druids of the Talon now do need to get away. Back down across here, we see a pair up the Vitality Tome of Strength being left behind. Keeper of the Grove and the Demon Hunter could easily pick those up as we are now looking at a, a Tree of Life in the bottom left-hand side of the map. All of this while expanding Joker playing an absolutely beautiful, beautiful game. Keeper of the Grove making its rounds. Going to get that Tome of Strength and that Pure Up of Vitality. All right, what's going to be happening next? Demon Hunter going to be ready to go. Is the Demon Hunter going to perhaps get a mana burn off? Again? Nope, not going to even go for that mana burn. Just constantly cycloning the unit and waiting for a five unit surround. There you have it. Damage is being added up. Fairy Fire. And that one Drew to the Talent is going to be forced to back off. Scroll of Town Portal used in time. As that Druid of the Talon should have really backed off, you have to be concerned about a critical strike from a Blade Master always if you are doing a unit surround. Blade Master lives to fight another day. Torrin Chieftain just now starting to get resurrected. Perhaps the Torrin Chieftain resurrection was cancelled in order to buy the Scroll of Town Portal and then started once more. If that is the case, though, that Torrin Chieftain is still not going to see play for about another minute or so, that is going to be a big issue to have as that Torrent Chieftain is also not going to be generating mana for at least a little while longer. Let's see what's going to be happening next. Keeper of the Grove ready to go. Demon Hunter ready to go. Goblin Tinker still sitting at level 1 and should have the upgrade to the Pocket Factory once he does get to level 2. Economic Advantage now for Joker. Item and Hero Advantage now for Joker. We're Joker is sitting at 50 over 60 compared to 49 over 50 hero levels. Definitely in favor here as we are going to be getting that Torrent Chieftain out in about, well, yeah, another 15 to 20 seconds. So it's over a minute in terms of resurrection as the Blade Master gets to level 4. All right, units are staying extremely close to home. Not quite sure what to make of this. Blade Master trying to get every bit of gold possible. I don't know who is pinging the map. Some of the pings are relevant. Some, well, some are not. I do apologize for that. As we could be getting more and more items here. <laughs> Thank you. AWZ was kicked by player. All right. 
Keeper of the Grove now making its rounds. We'll see what's going to be happening. Those pings can actually cause lag um, because it is something that is registered even though not seen by Worker and um, uh, Joker. It is still saved in the game recording. So that is something you have to be aware of. All right, Joker now picking up some additional mercenaries from the camp at 60 over 60 supply. It looks like he's going to be ready for a big fight, but losing two units in transit, that is going to be a big loss. Torin Chieftain going to get to level four off of this mistake now, and Worker may be able to come back in and win this. We'll see. Druid de la Talon focusing down another Orc Burrow now taken down. We, do we see Blade Master trying to come across? Every Orc Burrow going to be destroyed. Not only is he unable to train up any more units, those Orc Burrows do give experience. So experience is being given to the Keeper of the Grove right now. Constant Cyclone. The units are up in the air, unable to do very much of anything. And at this point, you could just scroll of Town Portal, get out of the bad situation, and, well, know that you could engage and live and fight another day. All right, let's see what's going to be happening here. Cyclone once more. Torrent Shield, or Keeper of the Grove, down to 164 hit points. He may get taken down. Yes, he does get taken down. Staff of Preservation does not go off as the Keeper of the Grove is now gone. However, 58 over 10 supply, one grunt bleeding from every orifice in his body as every ounce of gold is going to be used to build some orc burrows. All right. Worker most likely knows about the economic advantage down across over here. All we need to see is a bit of healing. A resurrection most likely already underway. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 3. Are we going to see resurrections? Um, that is the next big question. 54 over 60. Looks like an Ogre Mauler. Nope, not an Ogre Mauler. What was trained? More Druid of the Talons being added here. As we are looking to see whether or not the Blade Master and Torin Chieftain will be able to finish off this fight. All right, the Raiders coming across. 58 over 20 supply. The Orc Burrows um, probably should not even have been built at this point. Just try and take down the bases and, and pick up some items instead with all of that gold. And instead, you are now going to be forcing an engagement here. Those Orc Burrows are going to be doing absolutely nothing. All right, here in comes the fight. Ancient of War going to get quickly, quickly taken out at the hands of the Spirit Walkers, but does buy time across on the remaining units. Raiders now looking to clear up all of the Druids of the Talon. Blade Master currently is invulnerable, but will be brought down or will be picked up into the sky in just a moment. A quick disenchant right there. Torrin Chieftain now, or Demon Hunter now in the backfield here. Is he going to try and pick up some more units? That is the big question again as the Forest Troll Shadow Priest has been taken out. Demon Hunter uses the Potion of Greater Healing. Now going after the Torrin Chieftain. Torrin Chieftain gets up to level 5. Is it going to get taken out as you see a whole bunch of Spirit Link getting cast across multiple units. Druids of the Talon all over the place. Druid of the Torrent Chieftain down to 5, still trying to run away. Down to 210 some odd hit points as we now see some Mana Flares. Goblin Tinker taken, no, Staff to Preservation back home. Keeper of the Grove arrives in time just to finish off the Torrent Chieftain as the Torrent Chieftain falls at level 5, giving level 4 to the Keeper of the Grove. Demon Hunter, however, not going to be, wait, no, he could be so lucky. Down to 12 hit points, 13 hit points, and still able to escape. Druids of the Talon are in position. Are we going to see some ensnares? No, not yet close enough to drink from that Moonwell. And that was a big loss there. Goblin Tinker, however, close enough. Has a potion of healing. Spirit Link still being used. Fighting with the home field advantage as Nightfall is coming into play. Raiders going to get taken down here. Blade Master still unable to fight here so far as the Druids of the Talon are continuing to fight back and forth. Goblin Tinker, Potion of Healing used in time. Blade Master trying to go after the unit. Another Raider will get taken down. Blade Master, 200 point critical strike. Entangle taken down and the Blade Master falls at level 5. Joker wins the game and takes the series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this best of three fighting until the very end.